Hey guys, Dankalodian here again, and in this video we're going to be looking at the evidence and support for Crash Bandicoot being in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Now, if anybody was around in the 90s, there are three characters they don't have to ask who they are. You got Crash Bandicoot, you got Sonic, you got Mario. Those were the three mascot characters for the three leading video game consoles and companies at the time. To be honest, my nostalgic heartstrings would be pulled so much if I got to see a three-man battle in Smash that was just Mario, Sonic, and Crash. That would be the absolute best thing ever. The mid-90s and what we like to call the bit wars of video games was just very strange because every single console had to have a, like, mascot character and it was just so fantastic. Which is why the majority of the characters that I'm hoping get into Smash Ultimate are actually mascot characters. But enough about mascot characters, we're here to just talk about Crash. So as far as Crash being in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, difficult subject to look at at this point as far as evidence. Now we do have the issue of notoriety and being very iconic. Crash is definitely iconic, Crash is definitely well noted and is without a doubt on Nintendo's radar. Crash was one of the leading mascot characters battling it out with Nintendo back in the day and for a while. And just recently we had Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy make its way over to the Switch. Good sign. Now as far as that goes, I know a lot of people were amazed that Sony would let that happen. The thing is, Sony doesn't have ownership over Crash and they don't have an exclusive deal with Crash anymore. Crash and Spyro, for that matter, are under the control of Activision, so it helps out a little there. Now as far as Crash being in Smash Ultimate, <sighs> Crash and Smash Ultimate, god that would be great. As far as that goes, the evidence is so hard to find on this, like I said, I mean, there of course is evidence that now Crash is on the Switch, the Insane Trilogy's on there, as I said, so Nintendo now has Crash on their system. There's also the issue where there's the possibility that Smash Ultimate is actually being looked at as far as the Smash ballot goes and all that, and I know for a fact that Crash definitely had some votes on the Smash Ballot because I, I know that I saw um, some campaigns for him going around and all of that jazz and my god that character is iconic enough without a doubt so fan support yeah sure leak representation though is another thing because with leak representation I can't remember seeing Crash in many leaks and if you guys have seen Crash in some leaks uh, just say it in the comments because I haven't seen him in that many. I've seen him in like two or three I think actually. But any more than that and I really haven't seen much of Crash in leaks. But yeah, as I said earlier, uh, including the Smash Ballot and all that, I believe that the fan support for Crash is there. Definitely. I believe that enough people want Crash in that they probably got enough votes to get him in assuming that that is what's going on for Smash Ultimate. Now there were some rumors going around that due to uh, Crash getting on the Switch and Spyro Reignited Trilogy is going to be coming to the Switch that both of them were going to be popped into Smash Ultimate as like a mutual agreement thing as far as Nintendo and Activision go. You know, because Nintendo wants titles selling for their console and of course Activision wants titles selling and what better way to like, you know, to work up hype for a character than to toss him in Smash. Again, that's just theory and rumor being tossed around, I don't know. So I don't know as far as that. So this video is going to be slightly shorter than the rest, and I'm sorry about that, because I was hoping, like, that, you know, I really wanted to find more on this, and I may just be looking in the wrong place. So if I've been, like, looking in the wrong places and you guys have information that I missed or got incorrect or just don't have, as I've said in most, if not all, of these videos, like, I don't mind you tossing the information down in the comments. In fact, I prefer it. I would love for all the information that we can get to be surrounding these videos so anyone that, you know, like watches it will get the information that they're looking for. So again, that's it as far as that goes. If you guys have any more, toss it in the comments. Crash, I feel like has a decent shot at getting in. Probably as DLC would be my best guess on that. I feel like Crash would fit in perfectly in the Smash universe. I feel like Crash would absolutely be the type of character that should make it in. The one request that I would absolutely have is that as soon as Crash gets knocked off screen, I want his shoes flying back in screen. That's all that I need. That would be so, so great. So if you enjoyed the video, go ahead and drop a like. 
Um, if you want to follow along as we make our way to Smash Ultimate, feel free to subscribe. I would love to have you along. Thank you guys so much for watching this and viewing this content as worthy of your time. And I will catch you guys next time. Later.